Yes, and a lot of her bases voted for Trump because she did not give them anything interesting to vote for. Okay, so over the last year, I think a lot of us on the channel have enjoyed checking in with Amanda Seals. And she had a very fresh take on the election to me and why Kamala Harris lost the election. So let's see what she has to say. Make sure you like the video and subscribe. Let's get it. You can't ignore your base and win an election. It's just what it is. Now they might, you know, have some tricks up their sleeve and whatever the fuck, but you can't be a black woman running like a white man and win an election. Not for the real ones, at least. Not for the real ones. Not for the ones that actually know what the fuck we're talking about. Yeah, her base, Sticky, her base. Yeah, you can't run and ignore your base. Your base are the people who are not. It wasn't, you can sit here and say, oh, it was Latina women and white women, but what you're ignoring is the fact is that there are bunches and bunches and bunches of people who simply did not vote. <laughs> Yes, and a lot of her bases voted for Trump because she did not give them anything interesting to vote for. Obvious is that there were incredibly large swaths of people that begged to be seen. That begged to be seen. And they were ignored. He's speaking to all of those people. Let me speak to all the people that he's forgetting. Let me make them feel home. Let me make them feel safe. Many of you watching right now, you're going to have to be forced to wake up in these next four years and realize that it's not just about fucking you. You're going to be forced to realize that the only way that this person and this, um, this faction, this fascism, this version of fascism, because it's all fascism, the only way that it gets dealt with is by connecting with people that are not you that are not like you, with seeing the people that are not like you and making them feel at home. I think Amanda hit that on the head and I was trying to think about what she was saying. So I thought to myself, well, one of the things that stood out to me was when she said, you can't be a black woman running for office like a white man. And I thought about what could she mean? And so I'm going to assume what she means. And look, if Amanda happens to see this video, I'm just guessing. I'm not that well versed in politics myself. But I thought about the fact that when Trump is running. And also remember, Amanda said Kamala ignored her base. So when Trump is running. I think pretty much he has his base in the bag. I think while he's going out there on his political campaign, he's trying to appeal to the people who are not the whites who will be voting for him, right? The black community, Latino community, the, you know, everybody or the people of color in the States, right? I think for the most part, he has his white demographic, his base down packed. They're going to vote for him. Vice versa. I don't think Kamala Harris had that luxury. I, I do think she had a base of, you know, black women and people of color who were going to vote for her. But I don't think they were as large as, let's just say, Donald Trump's base. The people that he really didn't have to say a lot to. They were going to vote for him anyway. I think vice versa. Kamala did need to stick with her base and get more black women to vote for her and more black men to stand by her. Because as Amanda said, a lot of people didn't vote. And that's because whether it's Donald Trump or Kamala Harris, they haven't seen a political figure um, do enough to get them out to the polls. 
And so Kamala did have an opportunity to try to speak to those people. And if you know there's a group of people who don't feel like they're being recognized and you know there's people that Trump is missing on his campaign as far as he is ignoring this group of people, then, yeah, you should be trying to go after those people. But I think one could say Kamala tried to go after similar bases to Trump when her home base wasn't really secured. And I get it. I know she raised a lot of money when it came to black men. And I saw, what was his name? Is his name Van Jones? I saw him saying, you know, yeah, all of these black men, are they ready to vote for her? But when the, you know, the results come out, a lot of blacks voted for Trump. A lot of Latinos voted for Trump. He won Detroit. I'm from Detroit. Donald Trump won Detroit. Okay. And I think years ago, you would have said, you know, this area where I'm living at, this was a Kamala area or this was a Democrat area. And so, yeah, maybe she did need to appeal to her base a little bit more. And I think when Amanda was saying. A lot of people don't realize that. The wants of people, you know, who don't act like you, the people who you can't relate to, you know, it's it's bigger than just, you know, your group mentality, the people who you always agree with, the people that you always find common ground with when it comes to politics. You have to think about those people who are not in your group. You have to think about those people who didn't vote the way you voted. And then you got to ask yourself, well, why didn't they vote for Kamala? Why didn't they vote for Trump? You know, I, I think it's important for you to try to figure out, especially if you're running a campaign, why people are voting for the other side. And I think that's something that even regular people who vote, you know, they don't even think about. They they don't consider the other side and why they're voting for their candidate I think the main crux of a lot of the thinking with voters is if you voting for that person, you stupid because you should be voting for the person that I'm voting for. And I don't think it's that black and white. I think everybody has different skin in the game. Right. Everybody's voting for different reasons. Some people are voting because they have a trans daughter or, or, or a, a trans child. Right. Some people are voting because. You know, they have families that are Im family members that are immigrants or they might be friends with people that are immigrants like. Everybody has different skin in the game. And I think it's important for Americans to remember that. OK, so, yeah, I thought what Amanda said was very interesting. I hope I wasn't, you know, running off too too much. I hope you all got what I was saying. Like I said, I'm not the biggest into politics. I'm just kind of running this down to y'all and i appreciate y'all for even listening to me and um i hope everybody is okay if anybody needs a hug i hope you know here's a little invisible hug okay while i'm looking like the turtle man like i ain't got no neck i got a neck i got a neck y'all okay i got a neck okay that's why i got the choker to, to let y'all know i got a neck okay uh like the video and subscribe i'll see y'all next time peace